So today I'm going to make a Hasselback aubergine. I'm going to be seasoning that with some nice fresh basil pesto. And I'm going to be baking that with a nice passata. Now what I'm going to need for this is a whole aubergine, 30 grams of pine nuts, 100 grams of fresh basil, about 50 ml of good quality olive oil, 30 grams of grated Parmesan cheese, one clove of garlic. Also, we're going to need an additional 50 grams of Parmesan cheese, which are cut into nice thin, neat slices. One red pepper, which I have just roughly chopped up. I also have about 200 grams of tomatoes. Now, I've used about 150 grams of tomatoes just cut into large chunks, but I also have about two tomatoes which I've just cut into nice neat slices within that. Also, I have 300 grams of passata. I'm just gonna season with a little bit of salt and black pepper. To make my pesto, which is very, very simple, I'm just gonna simply, in a food processor, don't use a liquidizer, because you want a little bit of texture. I'm gonna add all my basil at the same time. I'm going to add a clove of garlic. And again, you can just throw everything randomly in here. I'm going to add my pine nuts. And I'm going to add a little drop of olive oil, about 30 ml. I'm going to season with a pinch of salt. And I'm also going to add the uh, grated Parmesan that we had prepared earlier. And then, very, very simply, oh, and we're just going to put a little bit of black pepper in here just to give a little bit of extra flavor as well. And that's your plastic pesto. To that, I'm just going to blend it all up to a nice pesto. I don't want to make this too oily because, again, but if it is a little bit dry, you can about add about another 10 ml of olive oil into it. I'm just going to loosen it all up, just on the sides, and then just allow it to blend up to a nice consistency. We decanted the pesto into a bowl and there's our nice freshly made pesto. Great idea to make this yourself because don't forget the ones you're buying in the shops have been made god knows how, how long in advance and it's all about freshness with this kind of a recipe. For my Hasselblad or Hassel, um, for my aubergine what I'm going to do is I've got a nice oven suitable pan casserole, doesn't matter what you use, as long as it's suitable and a appropriate size to the aubergine. So there we go, aubergine fits in it like a small little bit of a roast. So first of all, just to stop everything sticking, I'm just gonna put a little smidge of olive oil in. Just move that around, the pan is cold. Next, I'm just gonna take the tail off the aubergine and I'm gonna cut the aubergine, but I'm not gonna cut through. So, just going to cut that into nice pieces. So we end up a bit like uh, just an aubergine that's not cut through, <laughs> for want of a better description. Into that, I'm just going to get a little bit of seasoning inside the aubergine as well. Now next, I'm going to get my slice tomato. And on each slice, I'm just going to put a piece of tomato and parmesan. and just build that up along the aubergine. So 
so you can see what I'm doing there and just kind of building that up along as I'm going. So there I have it, my aubergine, which is just filled with the tomato and the parmesan. I'm just going to pop that on my pan now and I'm just going to, around the pan, pop in my tomatoes and my pepper. And my onion. I'm going to leave a pinch of salt into that. And just a little bit of a general drizzle of the remainder of the olive oil. So we end up with something that looks really quite attractive. Just a little bit of surface tomato and parmesan just pop it in and put it into the um into the aubergine itself let's get that a little white and there we go that's what you should look like all ready to go in like the oils like a little kind of a roast aubergine hasselback with some nice tomatoes and roast vegetables really interesting looking dish so Next up, what I'm going to do is pop that into the oven. Now I'm popping into a good hot oven, 240 degrees centigrade, and I'm going to cook that probably for about 20 minutes, and just to get, uh, get everything kind of roasting in together before we start finishing it off for much more. So I'm just going to pop that into a good hot oven. I've set this at, again, my highest temperature I have, and I'm going to just start roasting these off. Now my Hassel, Hasselback aubergine has been cooking in the oven for about 20-25 minutes, about 20 minutes. And that's how it looks now at this stage. As you can see everything is roasting down and just developing some good flavours into it. Looks lovely. Next up, with a spoon, I am going to add my passata in around the sauce. So, tomato passata, and spoon that, not on the aubergine, but mix it around all those nice roast vegetables that you have. You can put a little bit over the aubergine, but you don't want to swamp it either. Just to kind of give, give that nice bit of flavor, kind of working through the whole dish. You can season, very lightly, a little bit of salt and pepper just on the passata itself and a little piece of black pepper. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pesto and I'm going to kind of mix some of the pesto, first of all, over the sauce itself. The aubergine is going to need about another 15 minutes in the oven. And then we're going to kind of put a little bit of the uh, pesto inside the aubergine in the slices if you can see what I'm doing but I'm not being too being too kind of picky on it because I want a little piece of that kind of working through and just basically getting the flavor right into the center of the aubergine and then I'm going to probably take about another 20 maybe 20 even up to 30 minutes to allow this whole thing cook together now. And make sure the aubergine is cooked right, right through. So there we have it. The pesto now. I've just got, kept literally about a, a spoonful of pesto left. Just in case you want to just add a little piece towards the end. But that's how we're looking now at this stage. And as you can see, it's a very, very attractive looking dish. So that goes back in the oven until everything is cooked through now and all those flavors are infused together. I haven't waited for about another 20 minutes cooking. Moment of truth. I'm just taking this out of the oven. There we go. Aubergine, Hasselback, 
Parmesan. Tell me that does not look good. And that is ready to eat. Probably best to serve it if you're using a good pan. Serve it in the pan, just being careful not to burn the hands off or mouth of yourself. But absolutely delicious little idea for a dinner.